Greetings YouTubers, welcome to another project showcase video from me, the Axley. Today I am going to talk about another mini project that I have made which is a digital alarm clock where the main uh, uh, time information is displayed on the 7 segment display at the top here and the LCD here will allows the user interface navigation. So let me introduce the hardware first before I explain about the function of this alarm clock. Here I have the Arduino Uno made on DIY PCB and the bottom here I have the LCD 16 by 2 LCD display. So as I mentioned before this LCD display is used for navigation function. So it allows the user to select the function of the clock which I will explain later. And then at the top here as you can see there are 6 7 segment display so this would display the time and maybe some other function are using this for display purpose and here I have LM35 which is a temperature sensor this gives out analog value which can be converted into degrees Celsius at the bottom here I have a TSOP4838 which is a an IR sensor, IR receiver. So it will receive the signal comes from a TV remote. All these TV remote are sent the signal out at the 38 kilohertz frequency. So this will receive the 38 kilohertz input signal and demodulate it. So this is the remote control that I'm going to use in this project. This allows a wireless control to the digital clock okay and then here I have the S1307 real-time clock which can provide me a clock and calendar information such as the hour minute seconds day date month and year information so whenever I turn off the power supply to Arduino this backup supply will allow the time ticking of this real-time clock so to control 6 7 segments which each have 8 segments this would require me 48 IO pins so in order to solve the problems of limitation of IO pins from Arduino I'm using 274HC 595 serial in parallel up shift register as you can see at the bottom here one is used to control the segments of the seven segment display whereas the another one is used to control each digit I would say each digit of this display so the method used here is multiplexing where I can save a lot of IO pins and then there is also a method to display each different digits here which is the persistence of vision where the LED is turned on and off at a very fast time that human eyes can detect next LCD LCD when you command it using 4 bit mode it would require 6 data line but since as I mentioned before I am out of IO pins from Arduino Uno so I'm also using another shift register to control the LCD. So by using shift register, each shift register are using three data pins. So to control the seven segments and LCD, I will only require to use nine pins total. So this saves a lot of pins for my Arduino Uno. So I guess that's all for the hardware introduction. So let me move on to demo how this project works. So I'm going to control using the remote control. First, we will enter the menu. As you can see at the bottom here. Now I'm in the alarm mode. So let me zoom in. Okay, I'm going to set the alarm. So, let me check on the time now. It's 
0 1 22 on oops too fast let me check again alarm zero one twenty three oops on and return back to the menu so we will wait for the alarm So the program will use the polling method to check on the alarm time. So whenever the time updates, it will also check whether the alarm is enabled. And if the alarm is enabled, it will check whether the current time is same as the alarm set time. So now the alarm sets. So in order to turn off the alarm, I will just press any button here. So the alarm stops. That is how the alarm works. So let me move on to the second function menu. Okay, timer. Let me move to the timer. Enter. Okay, let me zoom out the video again. Okay, as you can see here now the top part is blinking so we can select the timer value to start so these two digit is used for the hour these two digit is used for minute and these two digit is used for second in this demo i'm going to show a 10 second timer countdown let me increase second and to start I will just press this button okay and it will start so all these are controlled from a remote control okay after the time reach the buzzer will sound and to turn off the buzzer I will just press the menu be the third function the stopwatch function okay select so to the stopwatch I control using this button whenever I press the stopwatch will start to count and another button I press again it will stop so this would function like a toggle switch so let me start the timer the stopwatch so as you can see, after I press the start button, the stopwatch starts counting. And at the same time, it will also display on the LCD display. So to stop it, I will just press the same button again. And it stops. To continue, press it again. Okay, it start counting again. Okay, basically this is the function of the stopwatch control using a remote control. Okay, let me return back to menu. Next, we'll move on to the settings. So here, I can set the time. OK. 
okay let me show how the time setting so this you need to check on the 77 display where you can shift to control each other digit using these two plus and minus and after that confirm press menu to back and it will update the time so now this is the updated time next I will go for the next setting which is the date and I select it so now the user can set the date and this will display on the LCD display as you can see I'm controlling using the remote control so today the date is 8th of December oops I'm pressing too fast what 8th of December 8th of December okay then after set the date the month the year that would be the day so today is Sunday I set it to Sunday and after confirm I press back to menu and it will set the time okay the date and the last function from the settings let me show you okay is the backlight so this is just a normal to control the LCD backlight to turn it off and off so I will just press this plus or minus to turn it on and off as you can see so now I turn off and back to the menu okay so basically this is the overall function of this digital clock that I've made so I hope that you like this project that I've made if you really like it please subscribe to my youtube channel for more info updates and if you have any suggestion or opinion feel free to comment at my blog imzxley.wordpress.com or comment at my youtube video so I guess that's it thanks for watching bye